Okay, y'all ready for today's national anthem? Let's do it. We've got something interesting today. Uh, So two things. I mean, Slater, you had some good inspiration today since it is what? National Nurses Day, right? It is. Yeah. And we want to thank all those nurses. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, to go ahead and go into a hospital uh, or any building where people are sick and you're going in there to fight that, that's amazing. And then uh, to go into space is also amazing. And that's something that we're going to experience a little later on today where we're going to have an actual manned flight into space. So a lot of people to be thankful for, as I'm sure over there on the Space Coast, everybody who's getting prepared for these launches, I mean, it's all hands on deck. I mean, I'm sure the, the coffee's running strong. Absolutely. Well, the launch is happening later tonight, so it's at 1034. We have two astronauts going up, and what they're doing is they're testing NASA's Boeing Starliner crewed flight to go up there, drop these astronauts off at the International Space Station. God willing, everything goes great. This will be the new way that they'll be able to get astronauts to and from the ISS. And they're going to be there a week, right? That's what they said, something like that. They're going to be hanging up there. Just, just chilling, so. drinking Tang, I imagine. <laughs> <Drinking> tang, <laughs> whatever astronauts drink. So to y'all this morning, everybody who's involved, thank you so much. From this morning's show to you, the National Anthem. K92.3. Do the right thing. As we come off the weekend, if you experience someone doing the right thing, please let us know on our K92.3 Instagram, Facebook page. We would love to highlight them this week. But Slater, you've got to do the right thing about food today. Yeah, since we live in City Beautiful Orlando, I feel like we have the most franchises of any fast food or chain restaurant around that keep popping up. So if you're from another part of the country, you go, oh, they actually have, what was it, Raising Cane's that came here mm-hmm. this past year. I didn't think that one of those was ever going to come. And they do specials when they launch a new franchise this actually has happened here so a new popeyes location over the weekend opened in england and the first three customers got free food for a year while some guy that wants to remain anonymous is do-gooder camped out for 17 hours so he could win food to give his free fried chicken for a year to the homeless in the shelters around the area nice he said 17 hours is nothing i think about what i have I have a car, was able to actually sleep a little bit in the car, then get out, sleep on the street. A lot of people don't have anything like that. This man, originally from Kenya, flies back and forth to actually help donate his time, his resources. He's also a, into construction, so he's built houses for his homeland back in Kenya. That's incredible. And, and now he can do that in where he lives now by giving this food, again, to the homeless. And this is the fifth time that he has done this in different locations. So Popeye's is the first man. time that he's done it with them. But every single time, he gives his free food for the year that these places do to people that don't have it. This guy's heart is as big as this universe. That's just champion blood right there. You know, yeah. I, when I hear of a story like that, I'm like, I, I want to know what his parents are like. Because mm-hmm. that that gets dropped by somebody, whether that's a parent who drops that kind of inspiration, a teacher, a, a, a grandfather, somebody along the way planted that seed when he was a kid. And I think for us, it's perspective this morning. You know, we don't even think about it when we pull into places like Popeye's, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. wherever. That's a few bucks for us. But- Really, I mean, there's so many people that are out on the streets that have nothing that that those few dollars could buy them an entire meal, you know? Yeah, it, it's cool because what it is, you get a free sandwich and they give you like a card. So every single day you give the card. So he That's says, amazing. hey, I, I just save them up for a month and then have 30 sandwiches and just go here and hands them out. So wow. that way they can go, they can get their free food and that sandwich Thankfully, hey, look at it. You need a certain amount of calories a day. In a lot of those places, there's a lot of calories. So that yeah. will actually fill you up. So that way, it'll be at least something to get you through to the next day. So this man that, again, wanted to be remained anonymous for doing the right thing this morning. Thank you so much. Doing the right thing. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. For more, rbafla.com. Doing the right thing. On K92.3. This is K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. Man, we got a lot going on on the show today. Okay, I, I don't want to bombard you, but of course we've got the money with the $1,000 minute. But this week is going to be interesting because, yes, we want you to win the $1,000, but you could also get those Chris Stapleton tickets if you don't That's win. That's right. Oh, man. So to win or not to win, either way, you're going to be a winner with a $1,000 minute coming up here at 710. Yes. All right. Don't, it's Obi, Chloe, I was just going to say, don't yep. forget, you could sign up to play on the K92.3 app. Important. Okay. Yep. So let's talk about AI. Let's talk about Randy Travis and over the weekend, the fact that he admitted that his new song. Here, let me play a little bit of it. Touch the tone. who grew up 
with Randy Travis, man. This is a miracle because the dude cannot sing like that anymore. He can't. Naturally. Well, and that was because back in 2013, Randy had suffered a massive stroke, which paralyzed his right side and damaged areas of his brain that control speech and language. So for this song to be out is monumental. And it, yeah, it's been, what, a decade? So 11 years, over a decade since he's even been able to say more than one sentence at a time. He mm-hmm. he was on, what, CBS of Morning News was where this story broke because that's where he admitted that, yes, I used AI to do this. What they did, they took 42 songs from the one and only Randy Travis. They cut out all the music behind it. Right. Put it in the system, right. wrote the words that he, by the way, wrote with a songwriter to actually create this song. Yeah. And the ironic thing is, what's the last line? It's like, there ain't no more where that came from. And we find out that there's actually going to be potentially a yeah, lot see, more. And there ain't no more where that came from. Hundreds of now new Randy po- Travis songs. The possibilities are endless, right? Okay, so let, let's let's get off of Randy Travis just for a quick second because I think Drake ended up getting in trouble for using Tupac, uh, AI Tupac. Not that he got in trouble, but you have people in the hip hop industry that are like, "Oh, that's disrespectful. Tupac's not around anymore. Who gave you permission to do this?" So here we are with Randy Travis, and to Slater's point, now we could put out endless albums. Now all you really need is just a songwriter. Ha- uh, hold on. Now AI can write the song. And AI can add Randy Travis's song to it. I, I think it's beautiful what what Randy Travis is able to do, right? Like it's incredible. I, I it makes you emotional because we never thought yeah. Randy would ever get the chance to sing again, and because of AI, he's blessed to be able to do that. But I also think there's a, there's a side of me that let's use AI for the good stuff, like things like this. But it worries me. It's concerning. I mean, I think AI takes away people's jobs, the creativity that people have, just the loss of human connection. Like, imagine what AI is capable of doing. We don't even have to communicate with each other. That to me is scary. Yeah, but the different thing, right? Like, if we lose our jobs because they do have that. There are, truth be told, this is another topic, but if they want to create a radio station and just go, yeah, I, I want somebody that has this kind of dialect, they can type that out and they can put that out there. But that is not what Randy Travis, who he wishes he could create more songs and sing more things and do it. Oh, man, he it's himself and his family, I think it's up to that. If you get the seal of approval from the actual family... Of the person, and maybe just the the spouse, and then the direct children. Because then, when it gets into the grandchildren, say mm-hmm. of like Elvis Presley, yeah. do we want more Elvis out there, or actors that have passed away yeah. that can't actually do that anymore? But I think that's why this is wonderful because Randy had this decision. You know, this is what he wanted to do. But sure. for someone like Elvis, Elvis can't make that decision. He's not here. All right, can, can, can I just play the? Uh, I'm going to play the, the the bad card here. Okay, it, it's fake. It's synthesized. So what's going to end up happening is that in the future, you'll be, what's to stop them from bringing Michael Jackson back? What's to stop them from bringing, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, But it's not the real genuine thing. What it is, is it's pieced together by digital, a digital brain. So I don't know. I so I'm so yes. I uh, appreciate hearing Randy Travis again Absolutely. and how rich and crisp his voice sounds and everything like that. But it's not real. I don't think it really matters if it's a bop. If it's out there and, if it's and, a bop. and you're singing it, that here's the thing. So say that's robot, right? If it's AI, if Randy Travis robot, yeah. I guarantee that could be somebody's anniversary song, wedding song, Absolutely. everything else. And a robot is singing your dance. It's you're not gonna dance any different. You maybe more stiff, you know? <laughs> like oh, I love you. Is that Sorry. how you're supposed to do it if that's uh, your wedding yeah, song? Yeah. Well, Th- this will be a this will be an ongoing debate amongst people. Yes, and I think it was a healthy discussion this morning because I know we all have different takes on AI. Um, hey, hey, do you guys want to synthesize food? No, thank you. I'm mm, good. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, yeah. I'm okay. Thanks, Synthesize y'all. Synthesize heartburn after <laughs> I get that with real food. It does make a difference. Um, which country legend, though, fulfilled a lifelong dream at the Kentucky Derby over the weekend? That I'll access in six minutes. K92.3. From backstage to the front page, it's all access. We'll talk about which country legend fulfilled a lifelong dream at the Kentucky Derby over the weekend. But first, y'all, it's a 
big night. We have a rocket launch that's happening uh, at 1034. Boeing Starliner crewed flight test. So we're sending two astronauts up to the International Space Station tonight. And following this successful test flight, if everything goes well, NASA will actually start the final process of certifying this spacecraft, particularly to regularly go up and do rotations to and from the ISS station to bring home astronauts. And that's going to be one hell of a sight to see if that's going to be happening at 1030 plus. Like, that's going to light up the night. I usually go to bed eh, probably 930, 10, but I I think I might have to stay up because this is pretty cool. Anytime we see any of our launches, it's amazing, but especially when they have astronauts in them. If you want to go to bed early, you heard it. If it's going to light up the night, you shut those blinds, get those dark curtains on there. (laughs) If not, you're going to be woken up at 1030 for sure. Yes, it's happening at exactly 1034 at that launch. Um, And over the weekend, Morgan Wallen had three shows at Nashville's Nissan Stadium, and he revealed that his bar in downtown Nashville will officially be open Memorial Day weekend. So what? Just a couple weeks away. We know it's a six-story venue, three live music stage, uh, stages, a rooftop, um, and the menu, I found out, will actually have some of Morgan's mama's recipes and other family recipes and just like a node to him growing up in East Tennessee. Wow, that's a way to make mama proud, right? right? Saying, Mom, hey, your famous biscuits that we all love, can mm. I put them on the restaurant's menu? That's awesome. That's a way to honor yeah, mom. totally. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and let's end on a high note because this was amazing. Over the weekend, the Kentucky Derby was on Saturday and so many superstars were there. I saw Thomas Rhett and his wife Lauren were walking the red carpet. Um, Travis Kelsey, Martha Stewart, Kid Rock, Jimmy Fallon. Like, there was so much superstar power at this event. Which, by the way, only 30% of those people actually care about the horses. <laughs> <laughs> if that. Uh, but, you know, I can guarantee you they were betting some some big money on some of these horses. Um, but really, really special, as she's a Kentucky native, Winona Judd had the honor of a lifetime singing the national anthem. For the land of the free. That's when you're a boss, when you can just do it. No music, just a drummer. Just amazing. (laughs) Pretty cool. (laughs) Um, And with a 20 to 1 odd, Mystic Dan won. So if that was a horse that you bet on this weekend, a nice payout for you. And it's worthwhile to go look, just like YouTube. I did it afterwards because it's only a six-minute, like, total video that's out there. But the photo finish is crazy. Incredible. Even watching it in super slow-mo, I thought it was a different horse than what Mystic Dan that mm-hmm. actually won the whole dang thing. Where the, the photo finishes, I think they said there were only in history five photo finishes Jeez. of all of the 150 years the Kentucky Derby has gone like that. Yeah, just incredible. So you can see all these stories up online, K923Orlando.com. We have $1,000 minute. You know the drill, 10 trivia questions. We put 60 seconds up on that clock. If you have what it takes, we'll give you a call next. Sign up. Up on the K92.3 app. This is K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. Man, we got a lot going on on the show today. Okay, I, I don't want to bombard you, but of course we've got the money with the $1,000 minute. But this week is going to be interesting because, yes, we want you to win the $1,000, but you can also get those Chris Stapleton tickets if you don't That's win. That's right. Oh, man. So to win or not to win, either way, you're going to be a winner with a $1,000 minute coming up here at 710. Yes. All right. Don't, it's Obi, Chloe, I was Slater. just going to say, don't yep. forget, you could sign up to play on the K923 app. Important. Okay. Yep. So let's talk about AI. Let's talk about Randy Travis. And over the weekend, the fact that he admitted that his new song, here, let me play a little bit of it. Touch the tone. who grew up with Randy Travis, man. This is a miracle because the dude cannot sing like that anymore. He can't. Naturally. Well, and that was because back in 2013, Randy had suffered a massive stroke, which paralyzed his right side and damaged areas of his brain that controls speech and language. So for this song to be out is monumental. And it, yeah, it's been, what, a decade? So 11 years, over a decade since he's even been able to say more than one sentence at a time. He mm-hmm. he was on, what, CBS of Morning News was where this story broke because that's where he admitted that, yes, I used AI to do this. What they did, they took 42 songs from the one and only Randy Travis. They cut out all the music behind it. Right. Put it in the system. Right. Wrote the words that he, by the way, wrote with a songwriter. 
to actually create this song. Yeah. And the ironic thing is, what's the last line? It's like, there ain't no more where that came from. And we find out that there's actually going to be potentially a lot more. And there ain't no more where that came from. Hundreds of now new Randy po- Travis songs. The possibilities are endless, right? Okay, so let, let's let's get off of Randy Travis just for a quick second because I think Drake ended up getting in trouble for using Tupac, uh, AI Tupac. Not that he got in trouble, but you have people in the hip hop industry that are like, "Oh, that's disrespectful. Tupac's not around anymore. Who gave you permission to do this?" So here we are with Randy Travis, and to Slater's point, now we could put out endless albums. Now all you really need is just a songwriter. Ha- uh, hold on. Now AI can write the song. And AI can add Randy Travis's song to it. I, I think it's beautiful what, what Randy Travis is able to do, right? Like, it's incredible. I, I It makes you emotional because we never thought yeah. Randy would ever get the chance to sing again. And because of AI, he's blessed to be able to do that. But I also think there's a, there's a side of me that lets use AI for the good stuff, like things like this. But it worries me. It's concerning. I mean, I think AI takes away people's jobs, the creativity that people have, just the loss of human connection. Like, imagine what AI is capable of doing. We don't even have to communicate with each other. That, to me, is scary. Yeah, but the different thing, right? Like, here we have, we lose our jobs because they do have that. There are, truth be told, this is another topic, but if, if they want to create a radio station and just go, yeah, I, I want somebody that has this kind of dialect, they can type that out and they can put that out there. But that is not what Randy Travis, who he wishes he could create more songs and sing more things and do it. Oh, man, he really- himself and his family, I think it's up to that. If you get the seal of approval from the actual family... Of the person, and maybe just the the spouse, and then the direct children. Because then, when it gets into the grandchildren, say mm-hmm. of like Elvis Presley, yeah. do we want more Elvis out there, or actors that have passed away yeah. that can't actually do that anymore? But I think that's why this is wonderful because Randy had this decision. You know, this is what he wanted to do. But sure. for someone like Elvis, Elvis can't make that decision. He's not here. All right, can, can, can I just play the? Uh, I'm going to play the, the the bad card here. Okay, it, it's fake. It's synthesized. So what's going to end up happening is that in the future, you'll be, what's to stop them from bringing Michael Jackson back? What's to stop them from bringing, you know what I mean? Like, but it's not the real genuine thing. What it is, is it's pieced together by digital, a digital brain. So I don't know. I so I'm so yes. I uh, appreciate hearing Randy Travis again and how rich and crisp his voice sounds and everything like that, but it's not real. I don't think it really matters if it's a bop. If it's out there and, and, and and you're singing it, that here's the thing. So say that's robot, right? If it's AI, if Randy Travis robot, yeah. I guarantee that could be somebody's anniversary song, wedding song, Absolutely. everything else. And a robot is singing your dance. It's you're not gonna dance any different. You maybe more stiff, you know, <laughs> like oh I love you. Is that how you're supposed to do it if that's uh, your yeah, wedding yeah. song? Well, Th- this will be a this will be an ongoing debate amongst people. Yes, and I think it was a healthy discussion this morning because I know we all have different takes on AI. Um, hey, hey, do you guys want synthesized food? No, thank you. I'm mm, good. Okay. Mm, okay. I'm, well, yeah. I'm okay. Thanks, y'all. Size heartburn after. <laughs> if it's I get that with real food. Doesn't make a difference. <laughs> um, which country legend though fulfilled a lifelong dream at the Kentucky Derby over the weekend? That I'll access in six minutes. Toby, Chloe, and Slater's thousand dollar minute. K ninety two three. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're speaking of Jane over here in Port Orange. I, I, so I can I can hear that you're a little nervous. I just want to let you know, though, that you've got a great energy. I think that you're going to take this $1,000, Jane. I don't know if I'm going to answer these questions. I, I don't know how you could be nervous. It's not like there's nervous music and ticking going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Obi and Slater, Later, Jane's husband retired. Uh, he's a retired officer. So can Aww. we show him some love? Yeah, Jane, thank, thank him, him for, for his us. service. Thank you. He's actually a chief somewhere in uh, Volusia. So. Hey, hey. There it is. Well, okay. Good we really him. appreciate the both you and your powerful work in the community. But now you're going to do some powerful work here on the air as we've got 10 questions 60 seconds all right so jane any of these questions you can pass and we'll come to them at the end so you don't take up too much time um but whatever you lock in i will have to take first okay okay also there's nothing in the rules that says you can't make friends immediately in the next five seconds with as many people (laughs) to help you cheat okay (laughs) if you have anybody around you break them off a hundred bucks out of the thousand even your phone (laughs) phone could be your best friend right now all right here we go jane are you ready yeah Question number one. 
What is the nickname of the Oklahoma University football team? Oh. Uh, pass. What word is that. opposite in meaning to bright? Darkest. What actor played Dr. McDreamy on Grey's Anatomy? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can see him. He was adorable. No, pass. <laughs> True or false, UCF football plays the Florida Gators at home this year. Oh, my gosh, Chloe. I should know that because you went to UCF. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to guess at home. On a roulette wheel, what color is the double zero? Red. In which year was the first Star Wars movie released? Oh, my gosh. I was like... Uh, I wasn't even a thought. 78. If you just threw an Uncle Charlie, what sport are you playing? I have no idea. Uh, that's oh, that's the time right there. Dang. All right. Okay. Let's oh, start at the top. And you know, Chloe was trying to see how many sports questions she could get in there. Uh, <laughs> so, so the nickname Oklahoma University football team, they're the Sooners. Patrick Dempsey oh, was the actor on Grey's Anatomy that we know as McDreamy. You guessed red was the color of the roulette wheel. It's actually green is the double zero. <laughs> You're only one year off. Star Wars came out in 77, not 78. And baseball, uh. a Uncle Charlie is a curveball. And so. our UCF uh. Knights actually play away this year in the swamp. Oh, it's boo. Okay. I did a boo. I Jane, did terrible. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm with you. I got all those wrong. <laughs> <laughs> If you would have said FSU or U of M or... Oh, okay. Next time okay. we should let them actually come up with the question. Or they can just decide what college team. <laughs> that would be better. Well, hit her up with the good news. You're going to be hanging with Chris Stapleton Woo-hoo! this weekend. So, yeah, Friday night, you now got plans. You're hanging out with Chris. I'm hanging out with him? With you Chris Stapleton. Seeing Chris Stapleton. Don't embarrass us. Don't stick anything in his beard. Don't tickle him under his armpit. It's Friday. Get yes. out of here. Yeah, you yeah. enjoy, Jane. Oh, Look. my God. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're oh, so good. welcome. So excited. The $1,000 Minute. Let's see how you do. Join up on the K92.3 app to play. K92.3. Time to hit the panic button with Obi, Chloe, and Slater. All right, over by Longwood, talking to Bobby. Bobby, you said you sold the family house, and you guys made a pretty penny off of that, right? Yeah, we definitely uh, we uh, made some coin for sure. Um, so, so why are you hitting the panic button? Well, that sounds I, like I bet something I to celebrate. You don't want to pay the taxes on it, right? <laughs> they know that going no, in. No, not quite that. Uh, I wish it was that. So, you know, it was... My grandpa and grandma's house, and grandpa's not around anymore, but uh, sold the house, super pumped. Uh, my grandma informed me that there is $20,000 buried under the floorboards of the Whoa, whoa, bedroom. whoa. How much money? $20,000. Okay. So oh. I, I, I got to go get it. I have to like sneak back into the house and tear up the floorboards. I, 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 I don't know. I don't uh, know. You already sold it. I know. So, <laughs> I would be already at their doors, knocking, begging them to get inside to get yeah, this money. Well, uh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're talking about a new family now owns that house. How long have they been in there? Uh, a couple weeks already. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that means they've moved the furniture in. Do you know everything. anything about them? Nice family. Um, kind of like you know, wealthy, little standoffish. Like, I, I don't, this isn't a sure thing. Like, I don't know if I can go banging at the door or ask them to tear up their master bedroom. Like, I, it, if I felt like I could, I would have done it by now, you know? I don't think you should tell anybody else about this. Cause say you go to your realtor, right? And tell them next thing you know, they're going to go in there and they're going to take that money. If well, you tell them where it is. Well, you can't tell the, the, the family that now owns the house, too, because I would be like, listen, you know, we bought the house. That kind of comes with the house. No, it's not their money. They have no idea. It, my floorboards, though. It's not a- in the contract mm. that there's $20,000 in the floorboard, <laughs> oh, you know? Okay, well, listen, that's now my <laughs> land because I bought the house. Yeah, well, I guess the big thing, Bobby, is what's the address <laughs> so, <laughs> just so we can go, Bobby. I don't know what you should do, bro. Is it his anymore? You go Is knock on their door. No, the purchase didn't go smoothly. 
we were asking for top dollar. They fought back. We came oh, back to the bar. Bro, they're going to want that money. It just wasn't, you know. Wow. Maybe you have somebody else knock on the door. Some, like, sorry, I don't know if you got any kids or anybody that looks, like, sickly, but have them knock on the door, do a sad story, and say, I just want to do one more sweep of the house. And then when they're <laughs> attending to the sickly person, yeah. break, breaking open the floors. You can <laughs> think that these... That this family is so mean, and, and how do you know they're just not going to be like, yes, come on in, let's get your money, and be done? Yeah, we don't. We don't know. Okay, well, Bobby, we appreciate you hitting that panic button. Let's try to see if we can get you some answers, brother. All right, thanks, guys. Join the conversation. 844-254-9232. 844-254-9232. Obi, Chloe, and Slater. Tabitha, you're the first one to hear this scenario and respond. That money is definitely his, and if he does this, They'll definitely give it to him. Oh, okay, oh, you have a tip for really? him? Really? Yeah. Mom? Okay, all right. Okay. We'll talk to you here in six minutes. Thank you. K-92-3. <laughs> the panic button. Join the conversation. With Obi, Chloe, and Slater. We've been chatting with Bobby. He's hitting the panic button as he just sold his home, and Grandma asked if he grabbed the $20,000 that was in the floorboard. Now he doesn't know what to do. The new owners are in there. Does he go knocking on their door? Rip up that floor? I don't know. Is he secretive <laughs> about it? <laughs> Tabitha, what were you saying? Yeah, you know, I mean, my initial thought was like, you got to go on some kind of secret mission to do this. But the more I listened, the more I think, just be honest. Explain that it was his grandmother's and it's important to him. And yeah, they have some conflict, but like, I don't know how they're going to sleep at night if. They don't let him get that money, you mm. know? Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. Damn, see, and if I bought the house and the minute you told me that that money was there, I'd be like, I'm not exactly tearing up floorboards for you, pal. But you then know, I'd do it myself. But you know the area <laughs> that it's in. Well, yeah, but does that matter? So say there's a picture of his grandparents that used to live in the house, right? Like of them looking like, you know, really happy and blah, blah. And he says that he wants to go back in and just... Be honest that way, but kind of tug on the heartstrings. Yeah, I would definitely show up with a picture. Okay. Well, listen, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Join the conversation. 844-254-9232. 844-254-9232. Obi, Chloe, and Slater. Jordan Davis is on K92.3. We'd love to pay you. Coming up here at 8 o'clock, use that $1,000 for whatever it is. Karate classes, upgrades in your living room, whatever you want to do. 1000 bucks coming your way. All right, so we're trying to help Bobby here. Bobby hit the panic button because they sold the house. Congratulations on selling yeah, the house. Way to go. Whoop, whoop. It's tough. Only problem is, is that that used to be the family's house. And grandma now has come out of the woodwork saying, well, did you grab the 20 Gs? That grandpa had underneath the floorboard of the master bedroom. <laughs> and the new family is already living in there. They've been in there for a little bit now, settled in. I mean, what does he do? Does he go banging on their door asking for this money back? I hope grandma's a jokester and she's just joking the entire time. No and way. she's waiting until he actually goes through all this and goes, I was just kidding, sonny boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's, it's, it's no longer his. I wish I would think differently. But what are you supposed to do? It is his money. It's not anymore because it's in a house that he no longer owns. And the family has no idea that that money's even under that floorboard. So technically it is his. I think we can all agree. Wow. Actually, I don't know if Slater will agree with me on this, but you can't lie, right? What are you going to knock on their door and make up some story? Because you're going to have to rip up that floorboard. Well, and I keep thinking about what else is there. I mean, I know that grandma said the 20 G. She's probably just thinking about the cash. But, I mean, there must be other uh, uh, mem- memorabilia. Mm-hmm. A l- yeah, a, lot, a lot of facts. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. in there. And who knows what she forgot if her brain is just forgetting $20,000 is in yeah. there. Oh, man. Okay, so that's where we're turning it over to you because I know my wife, uh, Slater, you brought this up. My wife is a real estate agent, and I know that as soon as the keys are handed over, that's it. Slater even mm. mentioned that if it's an old house, you don't even like going in the, in the driveway I again. feel like I, yeah, I feel like I'm intruding you if feel I weird. Even, even do that. Right. I usually, I, I will because if, like house growing up, that walk down memory lane, right? I'll drive down and then I'll very quickly like back up. If I see anyone, I'm yeah. like, oh, no, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. So let yeah. alone this. That's not my tree anymore. That's right. not my fence anymore. Oh, yep. Man. All right. Right. What's your name? Good morning. This is Fish from Merritt Island. <laughs> Good morning, Fish. Fish. Right, bro. Yeah, so he's he's got to do it himself. Once he gets it, just give him a little bit of money. But what do you oh. think he needs to do? Like, what's his game plan? So he shows up to the house, tells a white lie, say his grandma's ring or something important is 
hidden and that, you know, it's a family memory that he needs. Yes. And then they'll be more considerate to let him in. And then once he gets it, pay him a little bit, you know, make it worth, you know, fix their floors, pay to fix their floors and call it a day. Oh, yeah. You're definitely going to have to pay to fix the floors and pay for the inconvenience of me bothering you this entire Saturday or whatever day it is. Exactly. Gosh. Yeah. But don't tell them how much it actually is. <laughs> if they, right. If they find yeah. out it's 20 grand, they're probably going to want 50 percent of that. <laughs> yep. Wow, it's and who knows what that, else is, uh, is buried, too. Down there. Imagine what that family's thinking as he opens everything up and pulls that money out. Mm. Forget it. And I'd want to supervise. Right, exactly. It's my house now. Absolutely. I would want to supervise everything he's doing in that room. Yeah, bring a duffy bag that's filled with duds or something. <laughs> good day. Go I love the line. <laughs> Thank All you. Right, you guys have a good day. You, you too. too. Ooh, over in Auburndale. Mandy, what's up? Oh, hey, hey. What do you think our guy should do? Okay, so I'm wondering if he should contact, like, an attorney and see if, like, they could get back in there or, hey, I left something in the house. You're right, because then, again, you just said it. Like, that's the legal way. Instead of just showing up, knocking on the door, who knows how that family will react to it. What about possession being nine-tenths of the law? I mean, that's almost ten-tenths. (laughs) <laughs> but thinking about I mean, it, you will have my, to pay attorney fees. Those are my floorboards now. Mm. Yeah. Is he owed that? Like, is, is that his money anymore since it's no longer his house? I mean, but I left something there. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Right. I wouldn't let anybody in my house. If, if it wasn't, I would say, hey, have your realtor talk to, you know, my old realtor that had this by this house. Yeah, I mean, maybe if it was buried in the backyard, but to have to go into the house and have to rip up a floorboard. Yeah, I think it's gone. Yeah. And if I was the new family, I'd want to know exactly where this money was. Yeah. <laughs> Start digging up the, the whole house. All right, appreciate you so much for chiming in this morning. Thank you. Uh-huh, bye. You got him. We now we can go like an evil route. What if he says it's actually drug money, and if not, they're gonna come looking for it, and then you're gonna have to actually deal with these drug dealers. And I want them off of our case. You know the stress and anxiety that would cause on that family. They'd move out immediately. No, they well they would give him the money, right? Nobody wants to be killed by El Chapo. El Chapo. I I just uh, again I can't get over the fact that you're gonna have to do like so it's mini construction. Mini construction to rip up floorboards and then to have to replace them, provided you've got the same flooring that was there before. And that's why you have to be honest. You can't come up with some lie. I know Fish said earlier about the ring, but I mean, that they have to rip up gone. that floorboard. That money's <laughs> gone. Don't think about it ever again until that house maybe comes up for sale again. <laughs> He's like, see ya. Forget your $20,000. Yeah. Um, but which country legend fulfilled a lifelong dream at the Kentucky Derby over the weekend? That I'll access in six minutes. K-92-3. Two people. One date. Zero texts returned. Second date update. Brought to you by attorney Dan Newland. In a wreck, need a check, Google Dan Newland. Okay, out in Longwood, talking to Tommy. Talk to us about your date, please. Hey, guys. How's it going today? It's going good. Yeah. Yeah, we went on a date. We had a nice time. I thought we were clicking. You know, I we kind of went to a nice restaurant. One of my favorites. Uh, had good conversation. I thought the... Conversation got better as drinks were flowing a little bit, which was nice. We had a great time. We got into some family history, which usually is a little deep for a first date, but it just didn't feel like I needed to hold back. I felt like I could kind of talk to her about anything, which was a good start. And, um, yeah, I haven't heard from her. <laughs> That's the best, when you just feel that connection and you it's just easy. Yeah, for sure. There had to have been something in there. You got, how long was this date? Did you have dessert? We were there two hours, I would say. Oh. Wait, so yeah. liter- literally you had dessert or figuratively you had dessert? <laughs> Just literally. This okay. Time. <laughs> Sweet Sweet well, that's, well, you don't know. If you're going to ask an answer, maybe you should come up for coffee and then next thing. You oh, know. my goodness. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm, I'm going to throw this out there and it's just going to be real blunt. Why not just move on? I mean, there's a lot of women out there. You sound like a nice guy. I could. There's a lot of women out there. I just felt special with this one. I felt like it was no. something that could lead to. Yeah, and a lot of fish in the sea got, like, one eye that looks like it's popping out of the socket. Oh, You know the sad looking ones? Stop it. So, obviously, she doesn't have that going on. Okay, Tommy, so we're going to try to get Janine on the line. There's no promises. Just stay quiet for us. Got it. Thanks, guys. Hello? Yes, Janine, please. Uh, Who's this? 
Hey, Janine, if it is Janine, this is Obi. That's Chloe. Good morning. That's Slater. Yes, it's me. So you've got three of us on the line. We're morning show hosts for the big radio station here in town, K92.3. Country station. Okay. Okay. What's okay. About? So, well, we do things on our show called the Panic Button, $1,000 Minute. Hello? Um... Yeah. Yeah, okay. you're, you're, so? yeah, but you're not you're not on those those segments. Yeah, and if you don't know the show, then that's okay. This is something called the second date update. Janine, you went out on a date with a guy named Tommy, and we'd love to give you a seventy five dollar gift card to go back out on another date with him. Um okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um I I'm good. I'm good. It wasn't that great of a date. It, and that happens. It seems weird because he said that he felt like you guys both had a crazy connection, even had dessert, uh, so Slater, it wasn't even just a meal. She could have just been nice. Yeah, I definitely was being nice. Hey, Janine, um, if you don't mind then, what can we take back to him so this way we could let him down easy? I think he was expecting something. Um. Well, okay. He... Asked me to follow him to the restaurant, and he drove like a grandma, like my grandma, like so slow, incredibly slow. He had his blinker on way before he needed to. He was checking every single mirror. I'm like, did you have you just Aww. learned to drive? <laughs> <laughs> He's a cautious driver. Like, are, but you, he said, so wait. He, you were following him though, right? So maybe he was doing all those things just to make sure that that you didn't get lost. Oh, sure. Then he, we were talking at the restaurant, and I was kind of like needling him and like joking with him and be like, "You're you drove like we're in a parade or something." <laughs> I'm sure it took a long time to get there, huh? <laughs> yeah. And people are honking at him, and he's just like waving. He like didn't seem to care. And I just was like, you know, I like to drive fast. Uh, and he he's super anti speeding. Did you he's want a bad boy, very... Janine? Is that what it was? A bad boy. <laughs> I mean, I like to get there fast. I mm. mean, I've had a few speeding tickets, I'll admit. But yeah, life's short. But that's really get... the reason you're not gonna call him back is just because Aww. he was a cautious driver. Poor guy. Aww. I mean, and also he was just like seemed really square, oh, like really, yeah, just really boring. Hey, well, listen. I mean, uh, if, if that's if that's the truth right there, and that's the root of everything, then why don't we do this? Because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We do have Tommy on the line. Tommy had a chance to hear all this, Janine. So now all of us oh, can talk. No. Tommy, yeah, every word. Hey, I heard it all. Hi, Sorry. <laughs> Tommy, were you just yeah. nervous, maybe? And I know she was following you, so I'm sure you were being really extra cautious. Well, there's kind of a backstory to it. I, uh, as a kid, I, my family got into a car accident, and my brother and I had to climb out of the side of the car after the accident with a driver that hit us that was going extremely fast. So it would be uh, It would affect how I drive. Uh, well, you had to crawl out the side, so it flipped over. Yeah, it flipped over. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. Hey, first of all, I'm sorry because it sounds like that definitely added some trauma to your life that's affected your driving today. For sure. Well, okay, well, Janine, now that you know that, I mean, it kind of makes sense now. Oh, yeah, it totally makes sense, and I'm so sorry. So here, so in. so take this $75 gift card that we have, but and why don't the both of you go out again? Obi, that's not going to change him being boring. She Remember, she said that. <laughs> oh, my God, he's on <laughs> the Chloe. line, Chloe. I'm he's sorry. right there. I mean, Janine, did you not <laughs> say that? You did say his driving was the reason, she but said, you also said he was boring. She said square. Yeah, she said he square. Has, square. He has four corners. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So can't change the personality. See, can change the driving, see, but yeah, I think um, I wish you luck on your journey. Um, but I think we should just be friends. I don't even think oh. Tommy's on the line anymore. No. Tommy? Tommy? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, it is. It is. Buddy. <laughs> so I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, buddy, sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, it, but, but listen, okay, at least we got to the bottom of it. Tommy, we'd love to try to hook you up with somebody again in the future, and, and at least we got you two talking. Absolutely. Thank you, Janine. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Second date update. Did you miss it? Catch the latest drama on the K92.3 app. That is George Burge. This is K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. It is Obi. Chloe, Slater, good morning, y'all. Good hey. morning. Yeah, just another reminder, too. We've got more of that money coming your way at 10 o'clock is your next keyword worth $1,000 if you're going to take that money and say you're going to bet it on the Orlando Magic. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore because the series is over. Oh, man, I'm so sad. I am so freaking sad. Do you know that yesterday I was even in church and I was like, come on, God. Oh, we use one more, Lord. <laughs> well, you, know that, you know that Hail Mary prayer to the Lord that you're like, come on, please. Don't you know, God takes Sunday off, man. That's <laughs> you should have been praying on Saturday. <laughs> oh, I mean, we knew going back to Cleveland that it was going to be really tough for our Magic. They lost against the Cavs. They started off really strong and just struggled in the second half. But what a heck of a run for our Magic and how far yeah. that they have come. That entire team, we are so proud of them. We're so proud of this community and know that this is literally just the start. It really is. Yeah, there's only three players. I looked it up. I nerded out, right? Because at the end of every year, I go, okay, but who's coming back for next year? Like, what can we, right now, there's only three players that it looks like guaranteed, as guarantee as possible that they will not be back. And it's not the two, three of the major guys that have been starters all year. So there's a pretty good chance that since we were one of the youngest in best defense, also great offense, and the youngest teams in all of the NBA, there's a good shot that next year we could get back to it and at least make the playoffs like we did this year, which yeah. no one thought that that would happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So right now we want to give some love to not just the team because obviously that's who, that's who we watch on TV, but uh, everybody. I mean, you know, everybody from <laughs> Stuff the Mascot to pr the promotions department to operations. I mean, everybody now they're probably breathing a sigh of relief of like, listen, we didn't we didn't make the playoff playoffs like the official playoff playoffs, but we made it this far, and now we can all kind of rest knowing that next year's going to look great. Absolutely. And it's been fun. You know, I, I don't live too far from where the Magic play at the Kia Center. And it was really fun just seeing all the billboards and everyone's so excited in different, you know, parts of town and just cheering on our Magic. Now, I feel like you two in here, I, I know what the answer is, but there's two types of people. If your team gets beat by a team, do you root for that team to win it all? So that way you go, oh, well, well yeah, we didn't win it all because the team that beat us, they did win. Because huh? the Cleveland Cavaliers are playing the Boston Celtics, my team, my hometown team. From when I grew up, you right. got to root for the team that you were living in the, the place of for course. the majority of my life at this point. I was See, still there. And now I have no stake in any of the NBA Finals. So are you watching anymore or you're done? I I mean, I'll probably maybe watch the the last of the last, but no, I'm not even interested in that. Okay, yeah, for me, once like the Heat are out, right? So that was my team, but I will root for the underdog. And whoever that may be, that's that's usually my game plan. So if my team's not in it, it's whoever the underdog is. So the team, that, why don't you want to root for the champions? Why, why ever? Because it's fun when you see an underdog win. It just is. It's a great feeling when a team that hasn't won in a really long time... You know, makes Hasn't this big won comeback. Hasn't a really long time. So, <laughs> so it's not the team that was that was the worst team that's still in it. It's a team that hasn't won in a long time. Yeah, that would be different. I, I'm all for the underdogs. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Well, that's a good time. <laughs> well, Orlando, congratulations again on making it this far, Woo! and us yeah. as fans. I mean, I Seriously. know that my son now in some basketball, we watched every single game they did. Uh, so, congratulations again, and cannot wait to take it again next year. Please don't trade anybody off. Yeah, and we have a reputation of taking our good guys and training them off, and then all of a sudden we're back to square one. Right. So. I think Ben Chiro's here to stay. He's not right. going anywhere. All That's right. the plan. Can I share some with, with you guys next? Yeah. Okay, my five-year-old daughter, Olivia, she's calling me a cheater. I, I don't I think every parent's a cheater if this is what she's thinking makes, <laughs> oh. makes a cheater. All I'm right. asking you coming up in six minutes. This is K92 3, Orlando's number one for new country. Remember, you're getting another thousand dollars coming up here at ten o'clock. Start dreaming about what you're gonna do with that cash. Maybe you can make an AI of yourself. Like the way we were talking about Randy Travis. We'll have him again in the all access talking about that.
Uh, but Slater, let's get to your story. This is uh, this is something personal here. Yeah, th- this is not like, you know, AI is new, everything else. What I'm dealing with has been around since the invention of words. It has to do with <laughs> books and story time uh, because my daughter, Olivia, who she has the homework every single night, which means in, in kindergarten that the parents have homework every single night to try to help her learn how to read by reading stories at the end of the night. And I'm usually, or at least I have been in the past, really good about making sure I get a book and I'm pointing at every single word. But now she's asking me to read stories that are freaking like an hour long. She's like, Dad, can you read me the first so volume of Lord of the Rings? The books are getting bigger. They are <laughs> I, big enough big enough that I... I myself almost fall asleep before the end of the book. <laughs> like, like I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and next thing I know, I am just like, forget it. So I said to her, "Why don't you pick a book?" And she picked The Lion King, and there were at least 45 pages of this thing, and there weren't enough pictures, so they were actual pages. So I skimmed and I went through, and I was pointing at words, and halfway through, she goes, well, "You're cheating." I. I wasn't. Che- I I don't look at that as cheating. If I'm reading the story, that by the way, she already knows how it ends, right? She already knows. You're cliff fact- noting. You're cliff noting. You should noting. be a proud parent because she's a smart girl. She's catching on that you are not reading all of the words that, that stuff, are on that book. Chloe, that stuff's only cute for a little bit. Mm. So I'm just I saying. So I flipped. She's the, a smart girly. I flipped the script. I said, "Nope, you, my dear, are the cheater." I said, you saw the movie The Lion King, and that's why you know how this is. It's not because you know that I'm skipping certain words. <laughs> and she said, you're calling me a cheater? And I said, <laughs> how does it feel? I said, how does it feel? Later. And, and she stopped down, and she's like, it doesn't feel good. I go, yeah, see? It's not fun yeah, to be a bully. Oliver's, Oliver's still at the age that uh, <laughs> if he were to ask for Lion King the book, like all of a sudden I open it up and we're already halfway. I open up halfway. Ah, look, he became the king. That's look a, at that. There's only three pages yeah. left. She, <laughs> she looks and she goes, Rafiki doesn't say that. And I'm like, yes, Rafiki does say that. He's a wise man. He said it's time to go to sleep. And so that's, yeah. she gets to pick out all the books? You she, don't pick out the no, books. No, I don't pick out the books. No, and, and we have more books, and I'm glad that we do. I'm glad that we do have so many books, because she doesn't know some of them. So I can actually cut through and go, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And after, like, for me, a 15-minute chunk. 15-minute chunk of reading. Hey, you're good to go. We're on to the next. Mm-hmm. But some of them are so long. Yeah, they, bro. They, I, and you know what? Even though she called me a cheater... Now that I flipped the script on her, she knows that it's not good to, to call names. I feel like a lesson was learned. I have a good idea. You said this book was what, about 45-ish pages? Oh, for sure. Why don't you just read half of the book? You know, cut it in half and the then, kid, okay, we'll finish the rest that. tomorrow. No. No? No. Hey, Chloe, you're, you're going to be a great mom. You're going to be, because you know what? I did the same thing with uh, Oliver where I, I, uh, I read where I do one, two, skip a few. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, skip a few. You one, know? Two, one, two, <laughs> skip. That is horrible. That's how you learn how to count to 100, right? One, two, skip a few. Yeah, we not comprehension. Not They're like, how do we go from this? The story progressed real fast. It's totally All right, good. night, night. <laughs> <laughs> and the end. Close the book. Oh, man. Be- do that. Best of luck, bro. You'll As learn. she's getting smarter, yes, like what Chloe said, it's cute when you first catch it and you're like, wow, they're really progressing. Right. But by time number three, number four, you're like, listen, girl, <laughs> just go to bed. Obi, <laughs> Chloe, and Slater. K92.3. Orlando's number one for new country.